Today you will learn how to make isometric grid in Adobe Illustrator. Welcome to Easy Guide YouTube channel. So first of all create a new document of 1920 by 1080 pixel. Right click on the rectangle tool and choose line segment tool. Now right click and drag the cursor. Press and hold the shift key to draw a straight line. Now we will choose the minimum stroke value. So you can see a thin line is created. Now we need odd number of copies of this line. Go to effect, distort and transform and transform. This transform effect panel will appear. Here is the move section. Increase the horizontal value to 20 pixel. Here if I increase the copies, you can see extra copies of the line is created. If I choose 2, then 2 copies of the original line is created. There is total 3 lines. If I choose 3, then there is total 4 lines. If I choose 4, then there is total 5 lines. So I am just using the mouse scroll to increase the copies. Now we have 80 copies and 1 original line. There is total 81 lines mean odd number of copies. Click OK. Go to object, expand appearance. Now this is a group of 81 lines. I am not going to ungroup these, just showing you that this is a group. Now double click on the rotate tool, type the 60 degree angle. Click copy. A copy of these lines is created on 60 angle. Now press Ctrl D once to repeat the last step one time. Press Z for zoom tool and you can see our isometric grid is ready. You can start drawing on this but let me adjust these on the artboard. Now I need the part where these three groups are interacting. Press shift key and scale up the grid. Now you can see on the white artboard are there is the perfect isometric grid. But outside is rough lines that we don't need. So select the rectangle tool and click once. Here type the same values as our artboard size. 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Grab selection tool and align the rectangle horizontally and vertically. Now press Ctrl A to select all. Right click and choose make clipping mask. Press Ctrl 0 to zoom. So you can see now we have a neat and clean isometric grid. Now draw your desired shapes. These purple lines are guiding me to click on the grid. You can turn it on by going to view smart guides. The grid is moving from its place so select the grid, go to object, lock selection. Now you can easily draw your desired isometric shapes. The reason why we choose the odd number of lines is if I choose the even number of lines like 59 copies and one original, there is total 60 copies, which is even number. Now if I rotate these to 60 angle, press Ctrl D to repeat the last step. So you will get this type of lines while we need these. So you can see the clear difference between these lines. So I hope you have learned how to make a isometric grid in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting design tutorials. If you have any question or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I will be happy to help. Also tell me in the comments below which Adobe Illustrator tutorial you want next.